Park High School students and parents are calling on the Sweetwater Union High School District for improvements to campus conditions. Castle Park High School ASB Vice President Adrian Gomez and his dad Pedro, who's behind camera right now, joining us for the latest. Thank you for getting up early. School's over, right? Yeah, school's out. So you still got up early. This cause near and dear to your heart. Explain why. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to find answers from whether it's from our school administration or our school board. Um, onto why why have we seen other schools get renovations that Castle Park is in dire need of? Not only renovations, it goes down to the little you know imperfections and the the maintenance that needs to be happening at Castle Park. Why hasn't that been getting done? And so you there was a meeting last night, right? Yeah. The second meeting that you've been involved with. Yes. So explain to me what happened last night. Yeah. So last night we gathered at the uh, district office. You know we just attended their board meeting to voice our our opinions during the public comment time. Um, we got good response from the board, you know, they acknowledged us, they said thank you for coming, thank you for speaking, and um, they, they look forward to working with us, and we look forward to working with them, we're, we're really getting a good feel on it. But it still begs the question, why, and, and it's not just Castle Park, it's Mar Vista, Chula exactly. Vista, uh, what am I, for Southwest, Southwest the, the, yeah. the, all those schools are, schools are within a stone's throw of one another, yeah. and yet you go across to the other side of the 805 and you see all these, you know, schools that are getting second, third, you know, field turf yep. resurfacing. Why is it that those four schools are left behind the other schools on the other side of the 805? Yeah, I mean, you don't even, you don't even have to go all the way to the other side of the 805, you know, just right down the street from Castle Park, Montgomery High. Fair, fair they, enough. They, they have a brand new campus almost. So why is it? We, we That's the questions we're asking, you know, they might bring it down. But what is the answer that's coming back at you? We haven't got a clear answer on that. We're trying to, you know, the logistics, we're gonna set up more meetings to come with the board, with our school administration, you know, to get these specific documents. We requested these these um, documents on where, how much Proposition O money we've gotten, you know, how many work orders and which work orders have been done at our school. Um, we haven't gotten a direct link to those via our um, school administration, which that would be coming from the, the district. Um, but like I said, we're everything, the ball's getting rolling when it comes to working with the district, and we're really looking forward to that. Because, I mean, I think the, the only way you can affect change is if enough people join oh, yeah. the cause, the volume goes up a little bit, 100%. doesn't it? 100%. Ever since we started covering this, you know, we started getting out on social media, we started, you know, gaining traction, and you got the news on them, you know, obviously they're going to try to try to start working, and I mean, if that's what it takes, as long as as long as that's what it takes, we're going to keep doing it. Because the pressure, then, is you have to put it on the board. I mean, exactly. if, if they want to be part of the... Exactly. Exactly. Water board, you, you, you have to say, hey, either do it or we're going to find someone else yep. who can, right? Exactly. That's that's our message. You know, we, we need to make sure the people in charge are, are doing their job and working for us. So school board elections are going to be a big deal in your world. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be looking into them closer than we ever have. We're going to be looking into them, you know, who who's who's starting to help us, who's going to help us, and who's done the things that can help us. All right. So uh, t tell us a little bit about yourself because most kids... <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, you know, I hate to, uh, you know, stereotype, but a lot of kids just are cared, concerned about their video games and maybe yeah. getting enough grades to get into college. Uh, why, why are you sp feel the need to spearhead this? Yeah, well, myself and along with a lot of other Trojans at Castle Park, you know, we have a great pride in our school. They say Trojan pride is one of the best, and um, with that pride, we're, we're we're determined to, you know, get what we deserve and what all students deserve, and not only for us because in in reality. Any big projects that are set in stone, I might not be able to see in the time that I'm in high school. Um, we want to set that for the future Trojans, so the future Trojans could come to school and be proud of Yeah, but the things you could see are just a clean facility, exactly. maybe air conditioners that work, uh, windows that aren't broken, things like that. Yeah, there are things like that that we're, we're trying to figure out, like why are you know windows broken, why, are the, why is the air conditioning not working? Small things like that, that you know, it might come down to the head custodian, to the principal, um, we're just trying to figure out like why aren't these things getting done? It can make a world of a difference. Do you think there's a correlation between a, a, a facility, a functioning facility, and kids' uh, academic achievement? Do you feel oh, like yeah. there, do you think there's any correlation, or, or is that smoke and mirrors? One hundred percent. I mean, the, the the nicer your campus is, the more students are going to be eager to go in and and learn, and you know, go every day, have good attendance. Um, Luckily, even though we don't have such a great campus, we do have academic excellence at Castle Park, which is all the more reason why Castle Park deserves more than it's been getting, which is not much. What do the teachers and administrators around your, uh, you're doing this independent of them, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, well, they're, they're there in the background just supporting. So, our, I mean, I assume they're, they're saying, go, Adrian, go. Yeah, yeah a lot of, um, uh, you know, ad, admin 
and teachers have thanked me for using my voice. You know, it might be confusing to us, but to them, they might be scared that the district might put them on a in a magnifying glass. Um, whatever it is, but they're they're there behind us. You know, all the teachers are thanking us, supporting us, and we're we're so grateful for that. Your dad's over there videotaping this. I, I if you were my kid, I would be so proud of you because thank you, thank you. Th it's a selfless thing what you're doing. Because by the time they get that stadium resurfacing, yeah. you're you're probably never going to get to run around on it, and you're you're doing this for the kids that come behind you. Yeah, exactly. And and, and, and dad, you got to be proud, are you not? So it's the same. What, 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 tell us about your father and how how his role in, in developing you has been. Yeah, he's you know he's he's been leading. He's been showing me, setting an example on how to how to lead and and gather a community to to fight for what's right. And he's been he's been a lot of help. You know, doing the research and all this, and you know, just getting involved and and figuring out things that none of us ever knew about the process and the system of the of the district and everything. So he's been. He's been like full support, me, him and my mom. Are you going to be the mayor of San Diego sometime <laughs> down in the future? Politics, you know, hopefully that's in my, in my future. Well, it's been an, I've been watching you on TV. It's been an honor to meet you. And uh, I'm sure as we get the high school football show up and running, we will, uh, we will be talking again, Adrian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming in.